starting with giving them a place to live. It's going to be a big help. But of course, Alan Marlett, who died, uh, I believe, in 2012, he did a big study with um, with uh, street alcoholics, and what they did was they tested the efficacy of of wet housing. Wet housing is where you allow an alcoholic to live someplace and to drink. And they figured, gosh, it's going to cost us less money because those guys use up a tremendous amount of resources falling over in the street. They're hospitalized. They found in the first six months they cut public expenses in dealing with them by half per alcoholic. But then they found out something remarkable. They were still alcoholics. They weren't social drinkers, but they cut their drinking by a third too. Because if you put a guy in a comfortable, warm place and you say, if you want to drink, you can drink, as a rule, they cut back their drinking. They didn't need to drink as much. They didn't feel impelled to drink as much. They didn't have the motivation to drink as much. As I said, they weren't wine drinkers. They only knew one way to drink, but they actually cut back their drinking as well. So what's, this, what's that say? Give people a warm place to live where, they, where they're homeless, and odds are that in and of itself will reduce their likelihood of addiction and increase their likelihood of remission.